Any town, any terrain, any place, and any ride. Sometimes a grudge just needs to get settled. Hearing brag about being the fastest car in Wyoming. And... Gonna get his ass drugged by a car with 28s on it. Ooh. Sandbag. No. In the Wild West, they used to call it a duel. In Southern Colorado, they call it grudge race. In this episode, Cody Garretson travels from Oklahoma with his 73 Chevy Nova to take on Lance Kanegi from Wyoming in his 90 Fox Body Mustang. These racers have been trading punches on social media for years. Bunch of overrated streetcars. Now they meet in Pueblo, Colorado to see who can back up their smack talk. If you need something to beat me, did you really win or did I just give you the race? It's Oklahoma versus Wyoming as these two finally get to race heads up here on Grudge Race. My name's Cody Garrison. I drive a car named your mom. It's a 73 Nova. 5 big block Chevy by Henson Raisin Engines. Uh, it's got a single plate, single entry nitrous outlet plate. Stinger 3 is on it now. It's just an old 90s chassis car, nothing fancy. I am a big smack talk guy. I like the drama a little bit here and there. So the car works for that, you know, and the name and the snorkel and all that. It's, it's recognizable. It's so just two of us. We don't need a whole crew to run that car. The car's super low maintenance, but anything I need, she's right there with tools and water or whatever. We're not scared of anybody. We'll sit next to anybody heads up in the country, anywhere, on any street, anytime. I'm not afraid of anything. Anything can happen. You know, we race big guys all the time, and, and even guys that are second faster than us, I'll line up with them because what if I win? I'm Lance Kanigan from Casper, Wyoming. Uh, we drive the King. It's a 1990 Fox Body Mustang. I uh, got a big block Chevy in it with a BT118 turbo. We decided to go with a big block Chevy. Just I knew the engines, nothing against Fords, and uh, Fox Body Mustangs were great stock suspension form, and I wanted horsepower, so we went with the biggest turbo we could get, and uh, keep going up. Yeah, we stick with small tires. Just that's what we got to work with right now. Um, we're so committed into this car. This is Haley. Uh, she helps me out a ton. We uh, we go all over the place racing most of the time. It's just me and her. Oh, I love it. Just the uh, the rush of it all. It's fun. Um, he has a huge passion for it, so that that excites me the most. Yeah, me and Cody, we've seen each other on Facebook for you know probably close to five years. Uh, we've known who each other are, and uh, turned into a battle of nitrous against turbo. And every time I'm down in Oklahoma street racing or grudge racing, uh, he's never available. So. It's great we finally get up to get to do it today. I don't ever worry about him. I mean, I expect my car is we're all out all the time. We just drive the car, and if we get the W, we get the W. I think he's going to out 60 foot me. Uh, he's a big tire, we're small tire. Uh, he's nitrous, we're turbo. It's a well set up car. It's a beautiful car, lots of good parts on it. Uh, it's just car just not bad. That's why it needs a turbo. He'll out 60 foot us, and then we're going to come cruising around, and by by the 3:30 mark, we should be making sandwiches, watching him go by. You're going to see tail lights. Uh, that's, that's, that's all we're here for. We're ready to drag his ass. We've been waiting a long time to do that. All right, all right. Welcome to Grudge Race, guys. What a grudge match we have today. We have Cody, we have Lance. We'll talk a little bit about your cars. Cody, your car is called Your Mom. It's pretty notorious. It's got a pretty loyal following. Tell me about your mom, Cody. Your mom's a 73 Nova. No, she's not. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to, man, I had to. The jokes are endless. I know, I'm sure. Well, we come out of the 405 in Oklahoma City. It's just a big block Chevy car, 555, a single plate, single entry nitrous. We get down on the street, we get down on no preps. We're here to take the Ws. What's your beef with Mr. Lance and crew here? Uh, Lance and his show car. Hearing bragging about being the fastest car in Wyoming, and he's like the only car in Wyoming, so. <laughs> well, there are his car and about five or six trucks. Oh, yeah, right, trucks, yeah, trucks. Five or six trucks. So is that really something to brag about online? I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, I look back and you guys have been going at it back and forth online for a couple years now. What started it? Uh, just general seeing each other talk on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. All right, so you came all the way here today to settle this grudge on Grudge Race. Yeah. Hey, man, what's with the 405? We've seen a lot of those cars, all those people. A lot of racing going on down there, man. You the fastest guys there is? Bunch of overrated street cars. <laughs> Bunch of overrated street cars. So, would you say that you have a street car? It's tagged and insured. It's tagged and insured. 
Good enough for you? Yeah, mine's all steel. We got blinkers, you got blinkers? That's not a street <laughs> car. All right, let's talk about your Mustang, because your Mustang is gonna piss a lot of people off. What's under the hood of your Mustang? Big block Chevy. Ooh, big block Chevrolet power inside the Fox Box. It's the only way to make them fast, man. Woo, yeah. You even got your rivalry clapping on that. That's it. like, everybody well, knows how to win. Much respect, yeah. but, but hey, man, yeah. <laughs> you gotta give him a little nod for that. I mean, you did put a Chevy in a Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I started started out with nitrous in that thing. It wasn't fast enough, so I had to buy a turbo. So. Okay, and a big one you bought, yep. bro. You bought the biggest one there is. Biggest one I could find, yeah. You think you got him out of the hole? He should have bought two. He should have bought two. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about the grudge. Since you guys have been back and forth online, I believe some social shaming is in play here, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And you have chosen probably the most humiliating thing that we've had on Grudge Race so far. The loser is gonna get down in his underwear and post up a picture, right, of you with the winner's car. Pinup style. Gonna make Pin Cody a calendar, girl. In your undies. Yep. Okay, that's humiliating enough. What's the second thing? Second thing we're gonna do is we've got stickers made for each other's cars we gotta wear for a year. For 365 days starting this evening. Absolutely. Okay. All right, what's your sticker say? My stickers are just my your mom logos. They stand out pretty well. Everyone knows them. Everybody, oh, yeah, everybody man. will know he got spanked by your mom. <laughs> He's got your mom's sticker. What do you have? We got a sticker. The car's named the King, so we got a sticker that says uh, the King made me queen, and it's got a silhouette of the car. Okay. All right. So just to recap, we had the counter shoot in the undies on the winner's car. We have social shaming where you can take them to the person's Facebook page. And we have the stickers. So how you want to go at this first round? Heads up, you're gonna get his ass drugged by a car with 28s on it. Ooh. All right, now this first round, we're gonna go heads up. It's gonna be on a pro tree, four tent, courtesy stage, the booster guy. Everybody all right with that? Yep. Okay, time now to see who gets lane choice. Reaction time challenge. Have a walk with me, guys. Let's get this grudge set, all right? <laughs> We have a Ford Tree, Pro Tree, little practice thing, you'll light the bulbs, four tents, first to green, bam, you get the lane, okay? Simple and easy, push the buttons, let's do it. Light the bulbs, here we go. My man. Oh, nice job, Lance, nice job. All right, Lance, you get lane choice. Which lane are you taking? Take right lane. Take it right lane, yep. Cody, you get left lane. Yep. All right, and this is heads up to the strike. You all good? Got it. First round of good race happening right now, boys, get your car, let's race, all right. Let's get a little closer look at your mom. Seriously, it's your mom. All right, 73 Nova. <laughs> Big nasty snorkel. All right, little skinnies up front. 500 plus cubic inches. Big shot of nitrous on a plate system, believe it or not. Throwing about five, 600 at it. The key thing about this car, it's really light. The car's back half, big tires. Now the footprint of this tire, we're talking like this. All right, big contrast to what's in the opposing lane. Let's go take a look at that. A man Cody gets strapped in. Your mom. Now, in this lane, something kind of peculiar under the hood of this box body. A big black Chevrolet, over 500 cubic inches. Sitting right up here somewhere, a 118 millimeter turbo. Understand, that thing is <laughs> sucking some air. All right, big black Chevy in a Fox body street car. Headlights, blinkers, check it out. Car's got a decent interior in it too. The big kicker, however, about this car lies right here. This is a 28.10.5. So this is probably the smallest tire in drag of the team. Literally, the contact patch on that particular tire is only about this, compared to Cody sitting over there like this. Now, the key here is not to overpower the track and bust these tires free. Nitrous versus turbo, big tire versus small tire. Let's light these guys up. And get them down the track for the first round of Grudge Race. Pretty interesting stuff going down right here. Now understand, having a Fox body with a big black Chevrolet, that's rare enough. Put a 118 millimeter turbo on it, that's that loco. But in the other lane, we're talking to a guy who's notorious for street racing, notorious for grudge racing, has a big black Chevy. Woo! And about 600 horsepower, just in nitrous alone. 
car makes big power. Definitely can dance. Let's see how it does. Right now, it's a burnout. Woo! The dog can eat. I want you to pay attention to how the car leaves, because the car torques so hard, it almost three wheels. Like, the car lifts and twists like this. Handful to drive, but whoo, is it fast. So here's what's gonna happen. Because he's a nitrous car, he's gonna courtesy stage. You're gonna roll in, you're gonna light that first bulb and that second bulb. You'll hear Lance come up on the RPM, and then you'll see the car maneuver about eight to 10 inches, just a big bump. So bulb, bulb. He'll go in first, and he'll pump. Oh! Woo! Who's coming out on top? We're gonna find out right now on Grudge Race. One W on the King. The big tire. A lot of nights with big luck, Chevy. Woo! Survived that one. Woo! That was a race. Woo! It was like pedal, steer, pedal. It's the handful to drive. Both cars kind of position themselves all over the track. On, off, on, off the throttle. Godfather of Grudge, Joe Barry, bringing me. They call it ET slips, time slips. But I can tell you right here. That run isn't the one Lance was looking for. No, he's way, way off the pace. That car normally runs much faster than the lap it just put down. My man Cody, though, he wasn't asleep at the tree, but definitely energy saving mode. We'll talk to him about that, but hey, he wins at 115 miles an hour. So, hey man, um, I seen this car in test hits today go a lot faster. What do you think happened? Heat of the day, I think, uh, made us have a little more CO2 bottle pressure. It's basically a, a feature on the car that, that allows the car to go into limp mode so it doesn't overboost, if you will, and pop. So they think that's the problem. Yep. Um, I'm gonna give him a couple minutes to find out. So I've seen this car run harder. He's got a lot left in him. I'm just gonna leave it between that. You and me, he's got a lot left in it. Don't count the king down, all right? Count the king, yep. Hey, man, nice job, Cody. Nice job, man. Tell me about that run. I don't even think you shit the gears, did you? No, we stayed in first the whole time. We were getting all over the track and loose, and I was out on him anyway, so I didn't even need second. How bad is that when you're beating the guy so bad you don't need second gear? He's from Wyoming. It's, it's just sad. Woo, woo, fighting words, fighting words. All right, so here's the deal. You're already up one. See you in the negotiating circle. A couple minutes, right. give you a chance to cool down your car, all right? Thank you. All right. He just said on camera, uh, that he looked back and he was so far ahead of you that he didn't need second gear. <laughs> right, right. Man, we got some explaining to do. Pretty sure you guys got out 60 footed by some 28s on a street oh, car. He's bringing up that yeah. small tire, big know, tire. Baby tire out 60 footed. I only got to bring up one thing. Who won that? Yeah, well. Me? Did I win that? Yeah, I did. Indeed. I did. So I did. that's one for Cody. None for Lance. That being said, we move into the second round for negotiating. Now, so far, you guys have put up a considerable amount of embarrassing things. I gotta tell you, man, I don't wanna see any man in his underwear on anybody's Facebook page picture posted up by any car. I just don't wanna see it. You're one race away from being that guy. I'm not one race away. <laughs> yeah. You're not one race no, away. No, it ain't gonna happen. All right, well, that's a lot of talk. All you gotta do is back it up. Let me ask you this, my friend, Lance. Do you have Cody covered this second round? Damn right I got him covered. You see that 60 foot? Mm -hmm. I saw him win the race. Yep. All right, now Cody, do you have him covered? Yeah, yeah, I stepped on a tree last time. I let him get out, so he felt good about the 60 foot. But this time, we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna go on the, on the yellow, and we're gonna 60 foot him, and 330 him, and 660 him all the way down. This race, I want the hit. I'm down one, so I want the hit. 
<laughs> I'm down a race. If we're racing heads up on the street, I would never ask for anything. It's the best two out of three, so. You, know, you're you have up to hit one. last time, I still won. Yeah, but that's not my boss, driver mod, man. I'm gonna go ahead and intervene here. If you got the bugs worked out of your car, you should have me coach. I should, but you know, I'm down a race, so why not? I beat you in first year. Why not? If I shift, it's in front of your big truck. 28, 10, 5, Steve. I know, you shouldn't need the hand. You're right, I shouldn't, but it's negotiation, man. <laughs> All right, Cody, Amber, are you willing to give him anything? The way I look at it is if you need something to beat me, did you really win or did I just give you the race? Answer to this. If I gapped your ass on the first one, would you ask for anything right now? Or no. Would you say that? No, we both have problems. I want us to have a good, clean well, race. Well, that's right. Heads up. I mean, both of the cars, cars working good. I shift. I don't spin, hopefully, and go wall to wall. You get fuel pressure and keep boost, and we, we end up at the, at the bumpers at the end. Yeah, you're right, dude. I'll do it. Yep. That's just real talk, man. Yep. That's real talk, real men, real street racing, bringing it to the track, knock them down, all right? Yep, dude, you got it, man. Let's do it. Heads up. All right. Heads up to the stripe. First one there wins the round just like we love it, okay? Simple enough. You guys ready for the second round? Let's do it. it. Then let's do this. The second round of Grudge Race Woo! happens right now. Mm. Now, I know for a fact in that negotiating, you were just hoping, because this car is fast. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't that's... think he realizes how fast this yeah. car is. Mm -hmm. You got all the bugs worked out? Your waist kit stuff handled? I hope so, man. CO2 yeah. stuff handled? Took the safety off of it. We're going we're gonna to get him. Okay, the belt's going to stay on this time? Hopefully. Yeah. All right, man, do what you need to do. I don't see this car in the third round, okay? Damn right. All right, man. We set the stage for the second round. A lot of stuff going down here. If my man Cody wins this, Lance in his underwear, posting up a picture for a counter on Cody's car. Ain't nobody got time for that. Also, some social shaming, and he's gotta wear this big your mom sticker on your car. A lot riding on this race for Lance. Can he even it up? Let's find out right now. Think about it. Nitrous, all right, and a lot of it. 600 plus horsepower on nitrous alone thrown down the throw that big black Chevrolet in that 73 Nova, AKA your mom. Over on this lane though, big black Chevy and a Fox body Mustang. A lot of boost, 118 millimeter turbo, right? A lot of power, a lot of bumping hitting that asphalt right here. It's gonna be interesting to see if Lance and his team have got all the bugs worked out of that car. The W, a small tire, a lot of boost, big block Chevrolet, just got served up by Cody and the nitrous powered Nova, AKA your mom. Is that what pump. it was? Oh, that's fuel, fuel pump, pump cutting out? Yeah. That would have been a good race, dude. We would gap that ass. It's all right, man. That's all right. Thanks. I thought I, thought I read it. That car put it down right there. It spun all too first. Really? Yeah. Congratulations on that run, Thank dude. You. Best one I've seen out of the car all day. How'd it feel? It felt great. Yeah, man. Did yeah. you know right out of the gate you had him? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? No yeah. looking back? Now, when I left on the tree like that, I didn't even hear him. Nothing. Yeah, man. You got him on the tree. You got him on the reaction time. You know you're gonna hear about that 60 foot when you come to that circle. I know, I know. It's okay. All right, it doesn't matter. It's not a 60 foot race. It ain't a 330 race. It's a 660 foot race. Right. And all of them belong to you, my man. All right, I'll talk to you in just a second. Oof. Look, man, I gotta tell you, this car is crazy fast. I've seen it, I've seen it work several times before. 
that probably wasn't the hit you were hoping for either. He got out on me and it started reeling him in real quick and uh, you know did the same thing. Just goes dead lean, man, and loses fuel pressure for just a second. I think, I think we got an issue with the, the belt skipping or something. That's part of racing, though. It's the constant search for the weakest link. At the end of it, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. It's time to, well, pay up some bets, my man, all Ooh. right? Well, man, was that the race you were hoping for? Hell no. <laughs> what happened to all that king and this and that? And... It still is, just not today, man. Yeah, That's some man. mechanical issues. Yeah. Mom had to put the king in the car. Okay, you want to send it up there and you can get to the knees. Right there. That's perfect. She's not done yet. She's going to double dip. Another one right there. Your mom times two. One other thing left, right, Steph? You want to? It's time for some photography. All righty. Mm.